Hi guys, welcome to week four of a civics cohort. I am Yo-Yo, one of the co-facilitators at CityS School. So last week, we learned how to prototype and create your minimal viable product, or MVP, which is like making the simplest version of your idea to see if other people like it. It helps you to test your idea quickly and learn from others' feedback so that you can make it better before spending a lot of time and money on it. And this week, we are going to talk about how to actually get meaningful user feedback for your MVP, which is crucial to your iteration process. So user feedback helps improve what you've built. It tells you what's working, what's not, and where you can make things better. User experience research, or UXR for short, is all about understanding what our users want and need. A key point in UXR and getting user feedback is that you don't want to come in with a perspective of I am designing for my users. Instead, you want to come in with a perspective of I'm designing with my users. So this means genuinely learning about your users' constraints and requirements and acknowledging the value of their insights. So how do you actually collect feedback? Well, there are several ways that you can do this. In this video, I will introduce surveys or questionnaires, usability testing, and user interviews. These are some of the most common UXR methods. So surveys and questionnaires are about collecting data from users via structured sets of questions. Now, crafting the perfect survey isn't just about the questions. It's vital to keep things clear and jargon free so everyone gets what you're asking. And although it's very tempting to delve deep, uh, shorter surveys often get more completion rates. So balance is key here. Mix multiple choices with some open-ended ones for richer insights. And remember, unbiased, neutral questions get you the most genuine answers. So be specific and avoid leading questions that assume a predetermined answer. And before distributing, your surveys and questionnaires widely. You can pilot test them with a few friends to identify any key issues or misunderstandings and make sure the questions flow logically. Now onto usability testing. Usability testing is observing people as they use your product, spotting where they stumble and catching those aha moments. Usability testing is kind of like giving someone a puzzle and watching how they solve it. If they get stuck or seem confused at a certain point, you know that that's the part that needs fixing. You might ask questions like, which button do you think you should press next? Or how do you feel about the layout? Or do you find anything confusing or misleading? Another way to conduct usability testing is rather than prompting your users with questions, Simply ask them to naturally think aloud and verbalize their thoughts as they interact with your product. So say, for example, when someone is using an app or a website, they may talk out loud about what they're thinking, such as, uh, I'm trying to find the save button, or this page is really crowded. So this combo, usability testing plus the think aloud protocol, would really give you a clearer picture of what's going on in your users' minds. Let's talk about user interviews. If you want more in-depth insights from your users, it's a good practice to interview them. Conducting these interviews is pretty straightforward. Prepare a list of open-ended questions, chat with your users, and listen to their stories. For example, let's say you are trying to create a community space for children with disabilities. You can interview them with questions like, what will make you feel safe and accepted in a community space? Or are there specific resources or activities that you would like access to? If you are conducting online interviews, you can try using integrations such as Brain.com, which is an AI-powered meeting recording tool that can be integrated with Zoom, Google Meet, or Teams. It can be used to auto-record your meetings share key moments, and search for insights across your conversations. It automatically generates captions for you, so you can go ahead and highlight your transcript and read over the AI-generated summary, key points, and next steps. 
And if you're thinking, I've got so much feedback, where do I start? Just hop onto craftfold.com. This is an AI tool specifically built for summarizing your UX or feedback. Just upload your interview transcript onto Craftful, and it will sort and summarize the interview content into top feature requests, most loved features, main complaint, and main competitors mentioned so that you can more effectively iterate on your product. Remember, good feedback isn't just a pat on the back. A solid piece of feedback is detailed, helpful, and directly related to your user's experience. You also want stories, not just yes or no answers. And once you've got all the feedback, group similar comments to spot patterns and prioritize the big hitters. Remember to wear a neutral hat and be conscious of your own biases. And as you churn out your action plan, keep your feedback loop in the loop. Always circle back and thanking those who contributed and sharing how their insights shaped your next steps. And remember that creating a product is an iterative process. So your feedback is not just a one-off, it's a journey. Okay, so what have we covered today? We first started with the importance of gaining user feedback and how user experience research is a co-constructive process where you design with your users rather than designing for them. We also learned about solid UXR techniques, including surveys and questionnaires, usability testing, and user interviews, as well as how to use AI tools like grain.com or craftful.com to boost your insights. Lastly, we talked about how to interpret and iterate upon the feedback you gained. Now, your challenge this week is to get feedback for your prototype or MVP and interpret them and share your progress with us on LinkedIn or Twitter. Next week, we will support you to set up mentor sessions and offer one-on-one calls to keep your projects moving along. 